Although we know of Sarah Biffin as an artist, her main career was focused on painting portrait miniatures, which were small portraits, portable and very realistic, that were commissioned for life's most important events, getting married, having babies, sometimes getting a rank higher in, in the military. So this portrait here, this portrait miniature, is a self-portrait of Sarah Biffin painted in 1821. And it's not only brilliantly painted, but it shows her in the act of creating a portrait miniature. So in front of her, she has her painting slope where her little bit of ivory would be placed. She's got a little pot of water here in which to dip her brush, which here is sewn to the sleeve of her dress so that she could easily reach it with her mouth. And Sarah Biffin, like so many portrait miniaturists of the period, traveled around with all of her equipment so that she could get a new audience wherever she went. And she's quite likely to have had something like this with her, which is a portable uh, box with blocks of watercolor here, solid watercolor, and then these little discs, these porcelain discs, which she could use to mix the watercolor paint. And then here we've got some little bits of ivory, which she would have used and eventually cut down to this oval shape like this one here. So her miniatures are absolutely incredible in terms of detail. It's unbelievably difficult to get watercolour to stay on the surface of the ivory because it's naturally very greasy. And miniaturists would have to iron out the grease, rub the surface with a little animal tooth to make lots of nicks in it. There was a lot of preparation involved. And then to get the watercolour to stay, you would use lots and lots of little dots to build up all the colour and detail. So when you look at this and you imagine that this was done just by using a paintbrush in her mouth, it's absolutely incredible artwork.